The Flipper Zero is back and it is scarier than ever. Look at what you're reading on screen right here. iOS 17 lockup crash. This can potentially, I'm not saying you should ever do this, it's probably super, super illegal, so you should never replicate this. This is an iPhone 15 running on iOS 17. I'm going to press this one button on my Flipper Zero and my phone is going to be destroyed. Now watch this. the heck is it saying? Pair Apple TV. It's going to keep on sending these Bluetooth spam signals, uh, like transfer a phone number, pair the Apple TV, all this stuff until my phone eventually can no longer open up. Oh, look, my phone's literally frozen. That's all it took. It was literally three seconds. My phone is gone. The buttons are not working. The button is literally, look, I swear to God, this is insane, bro. This is 2023 and a little small device like this is able to crash somebody's iPhone at any vicinity. That's crazy to me. Hello? Hello, iPhone? <laughs> what the hell is going on? Bro, my phone literally is locked up. I can't receive calls, texts, like this is destroyed. Okay, now I'm gonna have to uh, obviously restart my phone. So I'm gonna press the volume up, volume down, hold the power button for a few seconds. Would that do it? Let's see if that does the trick. Okay, that's that's not working either. My phone is not, it's not even turning off at this point. What the hell did this just do to my phone? Wait, did I even stop? Oh no, it's still locking it up, that's why. I have to stop locking it up. As you can see, it's still flashing with that light right there. Once I stop this, then, then maybe, and, and just maybe, there we go, look. <laughs> oh my God. The scary thing is this works on any iPhone running iOS 17. So that means I'm gonna go try this on all of my friends, obviously with their permission and consent. And I'm not doing anything illegal. YouTube, do not- Oh my God, bro. Should I click continue? Color what balance, what the, the hell is this? Transfer this phone number? Yeah. <laughs> Close out of it. Oh, look, it's crashed. This phone's gone. For real? Yeah, this phone's <laughs> gone. I'm sorry, bro. This is your phone? <laughs> How do you prevent this from happening to your iPhone? And believe it or not, the only possible way is if you turn off Bluetooth. But not even that, if you turn it off from the control center, it will still work because the Bluetooth radio on your phone is actually still on until you go down to the settings menu and you actually turn off Bluetooth. Then my phone is now not going to get crashed by anybody's Flipper Zero but that's really annoying. You need Bluetooth a lot of times to use your phone, especially because there's no aux cable at the bottom of it. So this basically is targeting every single iPhone and realistically, there's no solution until Apple fixes it themselves. That is crazy. I can't believe it, bro. It also has a setting called Windows Device Found, and that should be working on my computer, but right now it's not really. I think I might have like a setting turned on that blocks this from working on my PC, but it makes this annoying pop up on the bottom right of your screen saying that it found a brand new device over and over and over again. And if you have an Android, the same can happen to you except the crash. I'm pretty sure I, Android phones don't crash, um, but you can also you know, make like a Samsung Buds pop up. You can make it say uh, like a Samsung watch is now being paired, and this stuff would actually annoy everybody that has an Android around you. And if you're feeling crazy, this is called the kitchen sink mode. You just press this one button and it spams every, oh, I turn, should turn that off because I'll break my phone again. And it spams every single device, so Windows, Android, iPhone, all at the same exact time. This plugs into the GPIO pins on top of the Flipper Zero and it gives you Wi-Fi capability. It also has a really, really scary feature called Evil Portal. The Evil Portal is nasty. If you press on it and you press on Start Portal, it creates a brand new Wi-Fi network that should show up on my phone right here and there obviously we see evil portal but you can make this name anything that you want for an example it could be free airport wi-fi which you shouldn't do because that would be illegal but if you press on evil portal watch what it does to my cell phone and watch how cunning this could actually be to somebody in real life you see what we're looking at right here do you see this do you know what's happening before I even have to explain? This is a fake Google login page. And when you put your username and password, it sends it directly to my Flipper Zero and I see the exact password that you just typed in. Let's type in is lucid cry. Username is lucid, password crying. And when I press on the next button right here, it's sent directly to my Flipper Zero. People online actually have sent me a full on zip package of a bunch of different HTML presets that I could use. Some look identical to our favorite airlines that we fly on. Some look identical to a login page that we use every single day for social media. Yes, the evil portal. Google Wi-Fi. There we go. Okay, it just pops up immediately. I log into your Google account. That was actually a fake Google page and I stole all your passwords. And it literally oh, on my Flipper no. Zero right now. I swear to God. I can see your uh, password starts with a D. That's one of them, yeah. yeah and your password starts with a R. Yo, that's hilarious. I literally see your emails, your passwords, everything right here. You guys got social engineers. Imagine you were at some like, you see free airport Wi-Fi. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I thought just logging into my Amazon account. Okay, I'm gonna drop all your patches because I'm not gonna save it. They'll probably be haram. I'm gonna go to Slack. <laughs> now, this next feature is also pretty wild, assuming that you're connected via Bluetooth to your given device. It's called Bad KB, and it's actually identical to the same thing I showed in my last video, where I would connect this. It's called a bad USB. I would connect it to any computer, and it would run a full on script, blasting the volume, going to any website, doing anything that you want, basically, just by plugging this in via the USB C cable. Well, now it works via Bluetooth. That means I can be wired wirelessly attached to a Windows computer, my own obviously, or even my iPhone, and I can send a signal that would open up my YouTube channel for an example. Let's try that out. Okay, watch how crazy this is. The guys at Extreme Firmware actually made this script for me, and if I press on run wirelessly, my iPhone will do this. Pull up Safari and subscribe to my own YouTube channel. That's crazy. It does this by itself automatically. Now, this would obviously just be a harmless example of you subscribing to my YouTube channel please subscribe. I think if I say the word subscribe down below, the subscribe button starts to have like a little effect around it. If that's the case, then just press press the button while you're there. Now, I know for a fact, if I did this to my Windows computer, it would be detrimental. You can basically do anything to anybody's computer, download a program, run it, install it, all by pressing one single button. On an iPhone, I'm not sure how much damage you possibly could do. If you have any ideas, let me know down below. I'm just asking for educational purposes, not so. Now, the last feature that you can do with this Wi-Fi chip is crack a Wi-Fi password. Now, this can actually capture the or a handshake that a Wi-Fi network would do, and then you can steal that, put it on your device, take it home, and then crack it using something like Hashcat. Now, when you de-auth, you basically disconnect all Wi-Fi devices connected to a network just by tapping a single button and not even knowing the password to that network, which is crazy. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, die. Oh my God, it died, bro, bro. It froze instantly. Now, when the devices were like, yo, I just got kicked out. I'm gonna try to come back to that router. You can just grab whatever in between and then grab that handshake. The, the device would obviously still be encrypted. You can still try to grab and crack that code since you have it. And obviously that will not be done on this Flipper Zero because it is like extremely weak. It's like a toaster oven. But when you take it back home to your extremely powerful graphics card, that's a different story.